Okay, so it, today is the last time. Okay, uh, so I need to uh, ask you to uh, submit second report. Uh, so, ne. Ten. How about uh, tenth, tenth February? Uh, nearly two weeks from now. It's okay. Ten. Okay. Right. The uh, the deadline on the second assignment is t ten. Okay. It uh, through uh, LMS learning management system. So please check the second assignment. Okay. Right. So, uh, Today is the last time, so uh, I will finish uh, the uh, seismic design and seismic retrofitting uh, philosophy or scenario uh, methodology. Okay, and uh, as we discussed before, uh, Professor Okamura's paper. Okay, uh, a kind of we can call it as empirical formula. To calculate share uh, capacity of uh, reinforced concrete beam without uh, share reinforcement, okay? Which was called as uh, that landmark paper for Professor Maikawa. Mm -hmm. right. So, it, I, I will start from the Let me share that screen. I uh, explained very important uh, a kind of case study or uh, practical uh, investigation about a uh, damage analysis of real uh, railway structures okay? uh, damaged by Kobe earthquake. Okay? The, I finished this uh, story uh, last time. Okay? The, で maybe it, you noisy sorry uh, who's PC it, maybe you remember this important figure okay uh, so uh, after yielding uh, of reinforced concrete column at point A, okay, uh, ductile behavior, uh, large deformation to absorb energy of earthquake uh, is expected. Okay? The, how can we uh, provide sufficient ductility? Okay? Uh, that part was uh, very briefly explained uh, last week, okay. The, I explained that uh, increasing share capacity, uh, ducti ductility will be increased. I explained in that way, okay. So, did you understand? So, I will start uh, from that point, okay. 
So again, uh, how can we increase ductility of reinforced concrete column? Okay. If we can obtain a very large ductility, in, in other words, uh, if the uh, delta U ultimate displacement becomes large, the total energy absorption performance will be increased, then uh, Ke, uh, which uh, is defined as seismic performance in this case study, will be increased, will also be increased, okay? Th that's clear. So uh, I, <laughs> I will br very briefly explain, okay? Just, uh, again, I need to use a uh, whiteboard. I I'll try to use. <laughs> Can you see? Wait. Ne? Eh, just wait. Speaker view. Speaker view. Okay. Maybe, I, I hope you can see my whiteboard, okay? <laughs> can you see okay so it you now you already know the general behavior of reinforced concrete column okay uh, starting from zero and cracking point yielding point uh, uh, after yielding uh, load will be increased to maximum point after that gradually decrease my tc okay you already know it if you do, do not know it uh, please Watch my video. Okay. Then, uh, uh, VT, the, what will happen when? the shear capacity in this graph, v, Vd, okay? Uh, but D means design. So if the shear capacity uh, calculated by design code, Vd, is in this level, what will happen? Okay. Then, without showing a ductile uh, behavior, black one is the ideal uh, full performance. But due to a lack of shear capacity, uh, reinforced concrete column will fail in shear. Okay, is it is it, clear? Okay, so that's why it, shear capacity should be uh, increased. Okay, but it's not so difficult. Okay, the, I, I'll skip in detail, but uh, it's known that uh, uh, when shear capacity is much higher, uh, than the maximum possible load, I mean, for example, twice or something, then ductility will be increased. Okay? It's uh, experimentally uh, verified, it is it. Okay? Hi. So very roughly speaking, uh, I'll add some figure. <laughs> Can you see? Can you see? Uh, Reinforced concrete column figure also. Yes. Yes. Okay. Hi. Hi. Okay. Uh, so, uh, P is applied to uh, reinforced concrete column. The uh, shear span is L. Okay. So, uh, suppose this is maximum moment uh, point. So that's why the uh, shear force uh, at this point is uh, calculated as mu over L, right? So uh, then uh, 
it's you know, experimentally verified that if shear capacity is larger than the double of this shear force, okay, then ductility will become uh, very large. For example, 10 delta Y ETC. It's, it's experimentally known. Okay? But you, if you search papers, uh, you, can, you can find. Okay? So here, it, what I want to say is that uh, shear capacity should be sufficiently large enough. Okay? Okay, so if you can follow, please uh, watch my video. Again, uh, I'll come back to that slide, okay? This one. Okay, here, uh, mu uh, ductility ratio is included. The oh, uh, go come back to the slide. So increasing ductility, uh, how can we increase ductility? V, why, or, or in, in that uh, whiteboard, uh, it's written as VD, but anyway, shear capacity should be increased. Okay? Then ductility will be increased, okay? The uh, shear capacity can be calculated uh, based on design code, utilizing Okamura Sensei's uh, equation and modified trust theory. Hi, but that's all for this scenario. Okay, <laughs> so the, some points might not be clear, but uh, based on this method, uh, engineers can calculate or evaluate the uh, seismic performance of all the reinforced concrete columns. The, if the uh, Share capacity is not sufficient, they should increase okay? uh, to satisfy the requirement. Okay? But something later. Hi. Yes, can I go ahead? Any question? Okay, hi. So, it, uh, I want to finalize the seismic design uh, scenario. Okay, uh, some slides uh, have been missed. Uh, okay, maybe this one. Okay. I will explain this slide and this slide, okay? Hi. Yeah, let's start from uh, this slide. Hi. Uh, so this, ne? But this slide summarizes the seismic design uh, philosophy of railway structures in Japan. Okay. The, uh, there are several kinds of seismic performance uh, here in this slide seismic performance one, or seismic performance two, or seismic performance three. Okay. Uh, what is seismic performance one? Uh, during earthquake, uh, structures will uh, perform okay? uh, under earthquake uh, shaking. Okay? So seismic performance one is designed as follows. No repairing after earthquake and no excessive displacement. So it's the definition of seismic performance one. So it means very strong against earthquake. Okay? The, on the other hand, uh, what's about seismic performance two? Uh, repairing is necessary after big earthquake, no, oh, sorry, after earthquake, but early restoration is possible, but that's defined as seismic performance two, okay? The, 
Furthermore, seismic performance tree uh, structures are standing there and do not collapse, but severely damage. Okay. Mm. The, we can choose uh, if you are a designer, okay? if you are a structural responsible designer, you can choose seismic performance from these categories uh, for your own structures. What I mean is that uh, there are many kinds of earthquake, right? L earthquake or L2 earthquake or more. Okay. So uh, one way is that uh, for any earthquake, you can choose seismic performance one. Okay. For Kobe earthquake or more uh, much bigger earthquake, you can choose seismic performance one, but it's not economic. Okay. Very uh, huge columns very huge piles it is that's why uh, now uh, railway companies uh, sorry railway my owners in japan uh, are choosing seismic performance one for a small earthquake it's called L l1 earthquake the definition of l, l earthquake is that uh, it can happen several times during the service life of uh, civil engineering structures. Okay, so not so huge. The, on the other hand, uh, they are choosing, they are selecting seismic, seismic performance two for L2 earthquake, uh, like Kobe earthquake or East Japan Great Earthquake uh, 10 years ago, which is okay. Great earthquake with low possibility. So when Kobe earthquake happens or when a very big earthquake happens, structures will be damaged, okay? But early restoration should be possible, okay? Hi, is it clear? うん。ここはまあ、分かったと思いますけど、えっと、耐震性能っていう、これ、司法書とかで定義されてますけど、設計者が選べます。さっき説明した通り。で、耐震性の1っていうのは、え、地震後をピンピンしてるんですけど、えっと、どんな地震に対しても耐震性の1っていうのを選んでもよい。だけど、そうすると不経済になる面もある。はい。あとはちょっとごめん。ゆっくり
I need to explain this slide again. So the, the, uh, this slide shows the general uh, behavior of ductile uh, reinforced concrete column. Okay. So shear avoiding shear failure. Okay. So again, uh, cracking, yielding, maximum load, and uh, ultimate displacement. Okay. So in this uh, figure, uh, damage level of uh, RC column is uh, defined or explained. Okay. Damage level uh, from one to four. Okay. So damage level one means uh, before yielding point. Okay. So of course some cracking happens, but before yielding, that's why it after releasing the load, after reloading, uh, sorry, after sorry, 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 after unloading, residual displacement is very small. Okay, uh, it's called, it's defined as damage level one. The second uh, level, uh, damage level two, means before the maximum uh, load point. So between yielding point and maximum load point in this region, damage level two. The damage level three means uh, uh, the range between maximum point load point and ultimate load point. The damage level four uh, is beyond the ultimate uh, displacement point D. Okay. Again, damage level uh, from one to four. Okay. Then I can go to this slide. So this is the uh, typical uh, railway viaducts in Japan. So this is found part of foundation. Of course, it is much longer. Okay. And uh, these these are columns. The this is uh, underground beam. So ground level is around here. Okay. So this is a, in, a intermediate a beam because this is very high uh, elevated bridge. The train uh, track uh, is up on this slab. Okay, the uh, how can we design uh, this railway viaducts? Okay, the here at in this table uh, you can find uh, seismic performance one. Okay, what's the definition of seismic performance one? Again, if we go back to, to the slide. Uh, no repairing after earthquake and no uh, excessive displacement after earthquake. Okay. The, in the real design, uh, we should design uh, so that the uh, columns or beams, foundations, in all the members, the damage should be uh, damage level should be one. This one. Okay, of course, some damage will uh, be generated, some damage will happen, but the uh, damage level should be uh, restricted to one. Then, uh, if we design in that way, seismic performance one can be achieved or obtained. Okay, okay. then uh, what about seismic performance two in very big earthquake? Uh, this railway viaduct will be damaged. Okay. The uh, this is a rigid frame structure, so damage will be concentrated on the hingy part here, like that. So sorry, this is uh, this hatched part. <laughs> the color is a bit different. Okay. Okay. Then uh, which Udasan's answer? Uh, sorry, question will come. Uh, here, damage level three appears in this table. What's damage level three here? Okay. Uh, just before the ultimate uh, displacement. Okay. So, in uh, Japanese uh, uh, railway design code, uh, column is 
is the most severely damaged. Okay, that's why in columns. Now please ignore uh, other beams. Okay? Uh, for columns, uh, damage level three uh, can be accepted, okay? but da damage four it cannot be accepted. Okay? But uh, other members like beams or foundations, uh, damage level should be controlled as two, okay? because they can repair columns. <laughs> But it's very difficult to repair uh, foundations or beams. Okay, that's the reason. Th that's the first reason. Okay. And honestly, th there is another reason. Okay. The, uh, after explaining that uh, second reason, I'll stop my explanation. Uh, why the damage of beam uh, is smaller, slighter? than the damage of color, okay? Because uh, for railway structures, the load is very heavy. Uh, before a very heavy uh, locomotive was used, okay? Recently, uh, the electric uh, trains, which are much lighter than the uh, old locomotive. But anyway, it, for railway structures, load is very heavy. That's why a beam was originally uh, much stronger with much reinforcement and higher rigidity than columns. Th th that's the reason, okay? But originally beams were strong. That's why uh, columns uh, should be uh, damaged. Then uh, after that, engineers will uh, repair or retrofit columns appropriately, okay? Hi, but that's the basic philosophy of railway structure seismic design. I just ここだけすみません。日本語で簡単に説明します。こういう鉄道工学を設計するとします。で、ここ地中張りだからこの辺に地面がきます。そうすると柱とか針とかこれは中層張りって言うんですけど、あと一部しか書いてませんけど、えっと杭もあります。でこれラーメン構造なんで、えー、揺すられるとこうヒンジ部柱とか針の片端部端っこが一番ダメージを受けますまあモーメントも大きくなるところなんで。でえっと L1 レベル1の地震動に対しては耐震性の1っていうふうに設計することに決めたので設計者が。えー、耐震性の1っていうのは何かというと全てのえー、部材の損傷を一つ前のスライドの損傷レベル1になるように設計すると。でもっとでかい巨大地震が来た場合には耐震性の2でいくことに決めたので、えー、柱は損傷レベル3まで、えー、許容すると。許容しなくてもいいんですよ。別にここを 2, を2にしてもいいんだけどそそれす,るすればするほど不経済になっていくわけ。でえっと、基礎が得られると補修大変ですし、えー、荷重が機関車とかもともと重かったのもあって、えっと、針がごつくなってましたもともとねデッキも多くてので、えー、柱の方が弱いとで柱は直せるので、えー、多少の損傷であればそういう思想です OK?、えー Again, I will add one small explanation. Here,、uh, if, you, if you are a designer, you can change this, this part, I mean,、uh, damage level three, two into two, okay, for example. But、uh, it's not economic, okay? okay?、Uh, design or seismic design is the、uh, balance. Uh, between performance, structural performance, or construction performance, and cost, right? Always、uh, balance. Okay, so this slide shows the、uh, present philosophy of、um, Japanese, Japanese society. Okay, I, this is the end of、uh, my explanation for this slide. Any question? I,、uh, wait, wait, wait. はい、Yes? 
Uh, since I am just wondering that uh, in case of buildings, uh, we generally prefer that against earthquake, uh, column should be safer because if column mm. fail, the entire structure will fail. Mm. Like if beam fail, it will be a local failure, uh -huh. like for one span. Uh -huh. on. But if column fail, it will be failure of whole structure. Oh, yes, yes. No. So uh, okay, I see, I see. Uh, I understand your question. So it's not failure, okay? It's a damage. So for beams, columns, uh, f foundations, to, uh, to in all the members, damage was damage can be generated, okay? But which damage is should be acceptable, okay? Again, if the pile is severely damaged, it's very difficult to restore, repair. They have engineering uh, technology to repair columns very easily. Uh, I can show you some, oh, maybe I have shown some slides, but uh, after this explanation, I'll show some examples, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, in the same way, if beams are severely damaged, again, very difficult to uh, repair, okay? Because the difference from buildings, railway structures are very long, okay? The levelness is required, okay? So rather than the severe damage in beams, the uh, damage is in columns can be accepted, very easily uh, restored, but different from building, I think. Mm. Mm. The, uh, maybe last time I, I explained, but uh, this is called ductility design, okay? The, I think ductility design should not be applied to buildings, I, I guess, okay? It can avoid catastrophic, catastrophic failure, but what, what do you think about inclined building, okay? You have to continue living there, right? Oh. So railway company can restore, okay, by their own techniques. But for buildings, I think, uh, but Again, it will uh, is that this it, uh, is related to cost always. Okay. Mm. Mm. Hi. Any other question? Oh, oh. about highway structure. Highway structure uh, in Japan. Similar uh. way, railway structure and the. Uh, Yes, but, uh, okay. Mm. So, just a moment. Okay. Yes, yes, it's a good question. So, very roughly speaking, uh, in Japan, uh, high, well, road structure, highway structures, uh, is taking different uh, well, philosophy or different methodology from railway structures. Okay, the, it, roughly, very roughly speaking, uh, highway structures uh, is selecting seismic performance one against big earthquake. Also, Th that's my answer. Okay, Hi. Uh, the, uh, be because because. Uh, there are many, many old railway structures. They are already there, standing there. Okay. The if uh, the how do I say philosophy is changed, they have to retrofit everything. Okay. Columns should be uh, strong. If you strengthen columns, piles should also be retrofitted. Okay. Well, it's almost almost impossible. Okay. That's why as a kind of engineering judgment or social judgment, uh, where we structures, including very old uh, structures, uh, selected ductility uh, design method. Okay. Mm. So I'm not saying that the ductility design is perfect, okay? but it's a uh, social judgment, I think. Mm. Yeah. For the youth, I understand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. And f for example, it, uh, the uh, Taruha, Tar Taruha's question was also very nice because in Japan, railway engineers can repair or retrofit after even after earthquake. Okay, 
but if the technology level is not that high, who will repair? <laughs> okay. So maybe you should not adopt ductility design, right? If the technology level is not so high. So mm, mm. it's a kind of social matter. <laughs> mm, mm. Hi. Hi, hi. Mm. Any other question? Hi, okay. So it, uh, this is the end of uh, that seismic design slide, okay? Uh, we have only 50 minutes, so let's move to Professor Komura's paper. I, Mm. Uh, first of all, I want to show you one slide. Uh, it's not shared, but uh, please wait for a while. Eto, sorry, this is in Japanese. That's why I explain it in English, okay? The, uh, uh, this slide was made uh, ten, nearly 10 years ago uh, for uh, special sessions in uh, annual convention of JCI, Japan Concrete Institute. Okay. Uh, it's called Landmark Paper Session. Okay. Uh, I was one of the organizers of, uh, of this one. The, I'll explain, okay. The, uh, to, yes, Professor Ishida, a two year senior to me. Now he is the professor in University of Tokyo. Uh, when we uh, were eating dinner and drinking beer or something, <laughs> uh, we were chatting that in ACI, American Concrete Institute, uh, sorry, uh, there's a kind of special session. It's called Landmarks Paper Session, uh, in which uh, my young researchers. Uh, will explain the contents of a uh, very high level uh, landmark paper okay, by very senior professor. The, in such kind of session, the, those senior professors, senior researchers themselves are also there <laughs> listening to such kind of explanation. Okay? So Professor Ishida was impressed a lot uh, by that landmark session in ACI. Then, uh, after our chatting in that dinner, we decided to hold same kind of landmark paper session in JCI Japan also, okay? The, I was in charge of several papers. The, here, uh, this slide was uh, made not by me, but Professor Saito in Yamanashi, uh, Yamanashi uh, University. He was in charge of uh, this paper by Professor Okamura and Professor Higai. Okay. The, uh, he made a presentation about this paper. Okay. So I will utilize uh, his slide. Okay. The, it, here, allowable stress method was uh, modified, drastically modified into limit state design method. Uh, I already told you, Independence Day in 1986, right? The, uh, so this equation, which we will study together, uh, was implemented in that independent des Japanese design code, okay? The uh, to, to, uh, to, sorry, Hi. Uh, to establish a drastic, uh, but new design system in JC, 
many talented researchers were uh, studying together uh, for installing uh, limit state design uh, method. Okay? The, this is the member, uh, chairperson, Professor Kokubu, uh, the teacher of Professor Okamura. And here, Professor Ikeda, Shoji Ikeda, you, you remember him, right? He is also nominated. The Professor Okamura is here. Okay? So very, very famous. Uh, now they are uh, above 80 or 90 years old. <laughs> But uh, according to their efforts, okay, uh, a new design system was developed. Okay, right. the, uh, yes. The, uh, what I want to ah yes. So this is the design version of uh, 1986 independent uh, memorable design code. Okay. Right. The, it, here, I, I'm using this slide uh, because I want to introduce the uh, story about that landmark paper. Right. The, uh, you know the second author of that paper, right? Uh, Professor Higai. Uh, at that time, I mean, in 1978, uh, 42 or 43 years old, okay? Uh, Professor Okamura was studying in UK, London. Uh, I heard that for around uh, less than one year, uh, six months or nine months, okay? Professor Okamura was uh, studying in uh, Leeds in uh, UK. The, he uh, wanted to res do research about a uh, sheer fatigue problem, sheer fatigue. So, but there is no uh, accurate uh, shear capacity de design equation. That's why uh, as a first step, he wanted to study research uh, about sh accurate shear capacity equation. He uh, sent, sent a letter to his student. At that time, uh, he was a student, Professor Higai. Okay. Maybe his PhD topic, I think. Okay. The, uh, you know this paper. Uh, we will study together. The, I want to show this slide. At that time, no Zoom, no email. Uh, maybe international phone is very expensive. That's why this letter is uh, from Professor Okamura to uh, Professor Higai. At that time, he was, sorry, uh, not student. After finishing PhD, uh, he was a research uh, assistant, maybe a assistant professor in new university, Yamarashi University. Okay. So, yes like that. So I don't know how, how many <laughs> uh, letters. But. So no computer. So they plotted their result uh, on this kind of scale. Okay. Hi. So uh, to, yes, yes. So I will move to uh, the landmark paper, but uh, I also I say, um, learned a lot and I also enjoyed, our, we enjoyed ourselves in this kind of landmark activities. We made interview uh, to big professors and we absorbed uh, their uh, philosophy or uh, way of thinking that we summarize in each article. Uh, th that activity was quite nice. Okay. Hi, it, civil engineering is a bit, bit different from a uh, uh, no, high, it's called high tech, uh, very different. So accumulation of history or accumulation of knowledges, experiences are very much important, okay? So studying is very uh, meaningful or uh, helpful to become a talented engineers, experienced engineer. So. Everybody can be uh, experienced, talented engineer if you continue your efforts, right? So it's di different from computer science or 
information technology it is so please do not give up study はいじゃあ any question about the history <laughs> Uh, let's go. I... So, uh, maybe you uh, yourself also uh, learned some things or picked up uh, impressive sentences, but at the beginning, sorry, I, I will explain the very interesting points of this paper first. After that, please give me questions or discussion, uh, make discussion, it is okay. Hi. Uh, this paper uh, was written by Professor Okamura and Professor Higai. Mm. Hi. Abstract, okay. Uh, very simple equation. The accuracy of the equation is acceptable since it is better than that of any other equation. <laughs> very simple, but very confident. Okay? He, they beat it all other uh, international research uh, result. Okay? It's <laughs> Hi. Uh, first, they selected uh, inferential factors. Okay, mm. it's a kind of machine learning, but at that time uh, there is no uh, such kind of technology. Uh, but mm. but I, of course, I know Professor Okamura, but uh, his engineering sense or a kind of intuition <laughs> is very strong. Okay, it's supported or it's nourished by my many experiences including many errors trial trial and errors hi so maybe i told you already uh, but don't be afraid of making mistakes okay? especially uh, during your research okay? you should make mistakes that's my recommendation okay so uh, so, uh, uh, my, if your supervi supervisor is not good, uh, they will not uh, accept mistakes, but it's not mistake. Okay? If you give this input, you obtain this output. That's all. Okay? Or uh, action and response. That's all. Okay? So, you should not think it uh, regarded regard it as mistake, okay? But you can learn from each uh, uh, response, okay? Oh, if I give this um, action, if I give this input, oh, this is the output. Ah. The, if you repeat them, for example, 10,000 times, etc., okay? gradually, uh, a kind of engineering sense will be not nourished. Somewhere, maybe in your brain, or yeah. so again, you should try uh, as many things as possible experiment or numerical simulation, field investigation, or discussion. Yeah. So, uh, please, uh, that's research. So, please enjoy it, that procedure. Yeah. Hi, the it sorry. Yes, it to so I selected mm 
。よし、えー、っと。うん、in this, if you study this paper, it's written in this paper that the selecting appropriate data is one of the most important thing in this kind of research. Okay? It's, it's written like that. Selecting appropriate data. Okay? So、uh, it's not explained in this paper. How they selected、uh, data. Okay, it's roughly explained、uh, somewhere、uh, here, maybe here. Okay, yes. These data were selected considering the following、uh, Professor Okamura and Professor Higai explained two reasons. Okay, but the real reason,、uh, reason or re reasons are not explained here. Okay.、Uh, I learned this from Professor Maikawa.、Okay. So,、uh, but they know the level of researchers from reputation, or、uh, they know directly、uh, through international conference ETC. So, I heard that they intentionally eliminated、uh, non reliable data. Uh, considering the quality of the、uh, research papers or、uh, reputation, ETC. <laughs> so, I d o n Please become re reliable researcher. Okay? All the behaviors are observed.、Uh, okay? Your attitude or uh, <laughs> your uh, lifestyle, ETC. If you are a very lazy person,、okay, uh, you, you will not be a reliable researcher. Okay? Right. <laughs> Kara, it, oh,、mm. oh, it, oh. あのー、コーエフィシェントバリエーション、COV、コーエフィシェントバリエーション、えー、maybe here in this step, okay. はい、えっと、in the laboratory seminar, research lab seminar in our concrete lab,、uh, sometimes professors、uh, recommend to show コーエフィシェントバリエーション、this one. For example, when you show experimental results, ETC.、Okay? The, it's written in this paper that the, this COV, coefficient of variation,、uh, equation 10 is their、uh, proposal.、Okay? 9.2 is the COV. So, COV、uh, smaller than 10% is around the COV of compress, compression test of concrete. <laughs> It's written somewhere. Okay. Where? Let's find. If you can find it, please tell us the. the、uh, here. Ah, okay, here. Yes.、Uh, COV was、uh, 9.2%. This variation is equivalent to that of compressive strength or tensile strength of concrete. Okay. So it means that the Uh, accuracy of this equation is very high.、Okay? So, have you conducted compressive string test by yourself? So, so it also depends on、uh, the tester, testing person. If he or she is,、uh, is a very lazy person or、uh, lazy or uh, mm, mm, I'm a lazy person, the COV becomes large. large okay? the, if he is a diligent, if, if he or she is a diligent and a smart person, the COV of compressive strength will be decreased to around 3 or 4 or 5%.、Okay? Why? Sometimes the、uh, quality of concrete specimen is not uniform. Sometimes the、uh, shape 
uh, for example, that both two ends are parallel, bottom bottom surface and top surface are parallel, or no? Okay, it depend also depends on the technique of the testing person, right? Or maybe sometimes a tester uh, will not take care of the loading loading speed. For example, is specified okay in the specification. But anyway, a compressive strength test. It seems easy, right? But even compressive strength experimental work has show sorry shows uh, around ten percent C over. Okay, so from this sentence, say you should feel how powerful uh, their proposal is. Okay? Hi. Okay, and I I will give you another uh, episode. Okay, uh, I which I learned from Professor Michael again. Okay, so uh, th that's why he selected this paper as landmark paper. Okay. So after establishing a very accurate uh, equation, uh, equation 10, equation 10 can predict uh, all these uh, 288 data. Uh, the average value is 1.00 and C of V is 9.2%, okay? Very accurate. The, after uh, establishing this accurate equation, the, they can plot all the experimental results uh, in the graph, okay. Compare their experimental results and their prediction. Then, some some data, uh, group data, is located above the prediction. Okay, so I, I will use whiteboard. It means that the. Uh, their for example, the techniques about experimental technique, level of experimental technique is can be back analyzed by their uh, investigation. So Professor Maikawa felt uh, very you know, scared uh, looking at this research result. But what I mean is that, uh, for example, uh, uh -huh. All right, can, can you see? Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> For example, if you plot V experiment, share capacity obtained experiment, and if you plot uh, Professor Okamura's calculation results, Some data of, uh, for example, uh, German Research Institute is plotted like that, okay? Above their calculation, okay? The, maybe Professor Kamara's uh, uh, guess the reason in this way. Can you see this kind of ex ex experimental condition? Yeah. So uh, this is hinge support, the roller hinge support. Okay. Okay. This this should be the boundary condition, but this is roller. Okay. Some researchers, some uh, uh, technicians, but some researchers do not take care so much about roller support. Okay. So if both are hinge. Okay, uh, horizontal uh, displacement is fixed. What will happen? Axial force, axial force will be introduced. Then shear capacity will be increased. Okay, so this might be derived from this kind of a uh, bad boundary condition, experimental boundary condition. Okay, so after analyzing, uh, maybe Professor Okamura. Uh, 
guess that, sorry, uh, they evaluated the level of researchers in that way. Oh, the experimental technique in this research institute is not so good. Something like that. Okay. So Professor Michael mentioned uh, th th this kind of story uh, in our interview. Okay. So that's why for many, many reasons, uh, Professor Michael selected this paper as his landmark paper. Okay. Right. But I'll stop explanation uh, here. So do you have any question? Uh, any question is okay. But... Okay, the eto. I want to show another uh, article. Okay, please wait for a while. Mm. Can you this? Maybe you can see this word file. Okay. Uh, so again, it's in Japanese, but uh, this is a, a, one of the articles in that landmark activities. Interview to Professor Maikawa. Okay. The first author is Professor Ishida, uh, that person, uh, two years senior to me. Kore Maikawa sensei. Maybe I guess the banquet dinner in international conference by Kawa Sensei, Okamura Sensei. Maybe almost the same as me now, I, I guess. The developer of self compacting concrete, Professor Ozawa. Mm. The, uh, to here. Uh, if you can read Japanese, maybe this is very interesting. So this is the title of section six. The title of section six is the landmark research from the, uh, sorry, landmark research for Professor Michael. So in this section, uh, the paper you are studying, uh, shear capacity paper is introduced. Okay. Uh, section five, I will not explain, but uh, management of research and how to educate a uh, younger generation. <laughs> Maybe you are interested, but I, if you're interested, please uh, translate by Google function. Right. Uh, yes, uh, in this paragraph, uh, what I explained uh, just a moment ago is summarized okay? uh, from the very accurate established equation. The many data from many research institutes are checked again, a kind of back analysis. Then the uh, level of research institute can be estimated, ETC. Okay? So if the quality of data is very bad, uh, but they don't take, take care about it, but it's revealed uh, like that. It, uh, so Professor Michael feels so skillful, okay, ETC. Mm. Uh, so very, very severe uh, observation for the quality of structure experiment is the background of this paper. It's, it's, it's explained like that. Finally, I want to introduce this uh, uh, episode or legend okay, in, in this 
、えー、paragraph. はい。えー、っと、it's related to LNG underground tank. Do, do you know LNG tank? Liquid natural gas tank. えっと、ちょっと、I'm not good at drawing, but it's a huge concrete tank, okay? Like that. Of course, there is a cover, okay? But the、uh, base slab of、uh, it's LNG tank. LNG tank, okay? The base slab of a huge LN LNG tank is Very big, okay?、Uh, the thickness will be around several meters, okay? So, it,、uh, engineers, uh, uh, responsible engineers for the construction of L L LNG underground tank,、uh, was worried about the sheer capacity of the base slab. Uh, because、uh, if the Professor Okamura's equation is accurate, the sheer capacity of this、uh, base becomes very weak.、Okay? That's why they need to provide、uh, more sheer reinforcement.、Okay? Then, in this Japanese paper, it's written that the,、uh, I'm not sure、uh, that all the gas companies are、uh, taking this method, but at least in Japan, Gas companies、uh, check the structural performance of、uh, real LNG structures、uh, at site, real performance. Okay, so it means that this is underground. Okay, so I heard from them that the severest condition for the base.、Uh, Base slab of LNG slab that、uh, this kind of condition、uh, inside empty. The high pressure from hydraulic pressure from the bottom. Okay. This is the severest、uh, situation. Okay. Of course, usually、uh, LNG tank is full of、uh, liquid gas. But sometimes for cleaning or sometimes ETC, it, it, it becomes empty. The furthermore, the hydraulic、uh, pressure from the bottom、uh, will act. This is the severest condition. That's why uh, after uh, uh, completing construction of L LNG tank, the gas owner company, owner gas company,、uh, check the real performance、uh, like that. Okay. <laughs> the, Uh, I heard from Michael Sensei that、uh, at that time, Professor Okamura and gas camp engineers, and I heard that Professor Michael was also here during e x p e r i m e n t <laughs> Okay, okay what will happen?、Uh, they gradually increase the、uh, pressure. Okay, the first. Bending crack is generated. Okay. The, this is closed、uh, by space. That's why the sound of cracking is c a l l c a l l Okay. They could hear the sound of cracking. Okay. They gradually they,、uh, increase the load. Okay. They finally.、Uh, The load、uh, became near to the estimation by Professor Okamura's、uh, equation. Then, sheer cracking, very large sound.、Okay. But Professor Okamura's equation could perfectly estimate the sheer cracking capacity of the real structure. Maybe the depth of this slab is around several meters, I think three, three meters or something. The、Professor Michael was astonished about the uh, accuracy uh, of this equation. Something that. 
So these are the back backgrounds of uh, this equation. Okay. Right. After that, let's study. So any questions so far? <laughs> these are not, not academic information, but um, Okay, so remaining in the remaining fifth, around 15 minutes, let's uh, study the paper together. Okay. Hmm. That I will give you one question, okay? So, oh. so this is very general question. So why is their equation so accurate compared to other equations? What's the reason? <laughs> please pick up the reason as much as possible. I think there are many reasons, but um, mm. so I, I will change the question a bit. Okay, why so accurate? That's one aspect. And it will be so useful, right? So finally, they wanted to make it a design equation. That's why not only the accuracy, okay, but also uh, usefulness mm, is also one of the requirements. Okay. Mm. Hi, sorry. Dozo. <laughs> Uh, sensei, uh, sensei. Uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, anybody can. Uh, they said, the author said that the equations were better because they have compared it to some popular equations mm -hmm. like Zuti, Kennedy, mm -hmm. and Edmund Losberg. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, the their equation was simpler than these three equations. Mm -hmm. and, and the results show that they have smaller COVs compared to these equations. Mm -hmm. That's, that's the uh, uh, no. that's the result of equation 10 right result higher yeah. accuracy smaller c of but i i'm asking asking why that's the result okay. why could they establish such a accurate equation that's what we should learn <laughs> That's why I'm asking this kind of question. Hey, Sensei. Mm. Uh, maybe it due to that uh, he considered the equation by considering the each parameter's constant, mm. like span, uh, their boundary conditions. Mm. See, sometimes researchers just. Uh, mm. uh, but, but boundary condition. What do you mean by boundary condition? Uh, boundary conditions means like sport and conditions for that mm -hmm. equation or like material uh -huh. properties that they use uh, for testing uh, like properties of material their boundary conditions mm -hmm. uh, that uh, he collected the from that equation should be similar 
similar. Well, what do you mean by similar? Means uh, that uh, like for boundary condition, he collected the data uh, as you already mentioned that uh, for hinge sport, he ignored that. Mm -hmm. uh, like for roller sport, he collect only for hinge sport or like uh, mm. ah, for... Okay, so he, hinge supports story, that, that's not included in this paper. Uh, I guess that he didn't eliminate uh, wrong boundary condition data, I think. So from back analysis, maybe they doubt or they were suspicious about the boundary condition of some data. That's what I said. Uh -huh. Do you want to continue more? No, no, thank you. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, no, any, many kinds of answers are possible. So you, I don't know. Other students can continue answering. May I try? To yes. Hear? Maybe because of their consideration of uh, the effect of shear strength the parameters like mm -hmm. aggregate interlock, uh, concrete compression zone, mm. dow bar. So they uh, uh, span to depth ratio. So they uh, considered. Mm all these parameters while deriving the, the equation? Mm. So selecting appropriate inferential parameters? Hi. Uh -huh. oh. Yes. Mm. But yeah, okay, okay. So, but so, sometimes they, honest, sorry, uh, explain in this way, it, the, Real behavior is so much complicated, so the uh, precise mechani mechanism has not been revealed, but they explain in that way, right? But they didn't give up, right? So when they faced such kind of difficulty, what did they do? For example, some mechanisms have not been clarified. Then what was their attitude? <laughs> Sensei, oh. maybe Okamura Sensei used the empirical equation uh -huh. in, in, in his uh, research. So mm -hmm. there are, as I read, there are three, maybe three categories, the theoretical equation, mm -hmm. empirical equation, and equation by statics, statistical analysis. Mm -hmm. Okamura Sensei used the empirical equation because he think that the, if we if he use the theoretical equation, mm. the, the mechanism of material should be very clear. Mm -hmm. You know the everything of the property of material. Uh -huh. In this case, we, we don't know. We we not sure. Mm. He doesn't sure. So he he used the empirical equation. Mm -hmm. I, yes, that, that's one of the reasons for their success, right? Oh, mechanism is not clear, but anyway, you know, they wanted to establish accurate equation. Okay, so I, I want to add one more question. Okay, so sometimes mechanism is not clear. So what did, what was their, uh, how do I say, yeah, opinion about the effect of concrete uh, no, strengths, strengths of concrete? Sometimes they uh, used one, sorry, power to one third. Sometimes they uh, tried uh, power uh, to two third ETC. What was their opinion or what was their attitude? I guess may maybe they conducted so many numbers of trial and errors, okay? <laughs> mm. So finally, their conclusion was that the FC prime power to one third, right? Maybe here. This one. Why did they select one third?
where was their explanation? Where is it? A, a bit difficult to find. One third. Mm -hmm. Someone please tell us. Uh, Maybe page 132. 32, okay. But here, two third. One, uh, page 132. Uh, 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 the second uh, column. Beginning, beginning of the second column is the end of the paragraph. Mm -hmm. Then um, after the equation, mm -hmm. uh, it states that this uh, maybe the end of the paragraph, this is due to the fact that interlocking action of aggregate, dowel action of longitudinal bar, shear mm -hmm. resistance of concrete in compression to are related to the properties of concrete as described below. In fact, statistical study shows that shear strength is proportional to half to one third power of the compressive strength. Mm -hmm. So here? Yeah. Oh, shear strength is proportional to one. Mm. Mm -hmm. But I found another sentence, uh, including all the factors, uh, much later, I think. Uh, where was it? So, here, still uh, two third, right? Maybe after equation 10, I think. Hmm? So, where is it? So, let's see. Oh, equation. Sensei, this is at the 133, the bottom, the bottom, 130, 133 page, the page mm. number, 130, the 33. Ah, it, no, no, here, sorry. It's 135, sorry. Here. F0 is equal to Fc prime power to one third, okay? Where F0 is not any kind of strength of concrete, but an interpretation of all the contributions by the quality of concrete, which includes tensor strengths and influences of aggregate interlocking, <laughs> that will actually, <laughs> that's their conclusion. <laughs> so mechanism is not clear. But if they adopted one third, the result was nice. <laughs> so this this is one attitude, okay? So not scientific way, but the result it established equation is so accurate, okay, which can be uh, adapted for any kinds of situation. So this is one attitude. So in that Japanese paper, in that Japanese paper, Professor Maikawa uh, mentioned that the, this equation is very, very accurate. Okay, but uh, he uh, listened to the exp explain ex explanation about uh, this equation uh, from Professor Okamura. Uh, based on the latest knowledge, for example, fracture mechanics etc. It seems part of his explanation seems wrong. <laughs> it's okay because 
uh, results are okay. okay. A kind of extreme uh, engineering. But Sensei, we can just tell, us, yeah. tell it experiment optimization means hit and trial. We just perform experiment of 100 times, or maybe more than that, and then get the exact thing. P -p Pardon? It will be just like hit and trial or something like because the mechanism is not defined. Uh -huh. But if, if you regard uh, this one as just a hit and trial method, it, I think it's wrong, I think. Maybe can can call the process optimization. The result which was oh. in the in the uh, means in the last try, the uh, result was uh, was something different, and we just changed. Oh, the of course, of course. The, the, uh, this is trial, uh, no, based on trial and error. But before that, uh, a, a kind of philosophy is necessary. Okay. Finally, of course, trial and error to uh, find appropriate parameters or. Uh, appropriate coefficient etc okay? but, but I, I think that's not the point i think that's my opinion okay <laughs> uh, but since i just have uh, uh, one thing i want to ask uh, uh -huh. uh, about your experience uh, how many times he just performed that experiment maybe how many times experiment uh, uh, you you mean try and error yeah try and error i don't know mm. <laughs> Maybe uh, uncountable numbers of trial and error, I, I think, or uh, selecting, uh, uh, for example, this one uh, in, in the form of summation, right? That's also uh, based on their trial and error, okay? Hmm. So I don't know, listen to them. <laughs> Makes sense. That's right. Okay, and it, uh, not only establishing the accurate uh, equation, but the final chapter uh, relate, related to a design equation is also, uh, how do I say, yeah, no, meaningful uh, section. Okay, You can learn how to propose a conservative design equation based on accurate uh, research results. Uh, to, uh, maybe it's clear. So their English is also very clear and easy. So please uh, learn their philosophy. Okay. Mm. Hi. So again, uh, so for for this particular journal paper, I think they didn't conduct any experiments. Okay. Of course, in the data set, 288 data set, Professor Higai's uh, experimental work by themselves during his PhD work is also included, but uh, just analyzing the data, okay, existing data, uh, they can contribute so much to society. Okay? So laboratory work or uh, research activities uh, by university team can contribute a lot. Okay, So you uh, can be like that. Okay. So, um, <laughs> at the end of this lecture, uh, no, we studied uh, a kind of extreme practical uh, no, research example, but th this is just one example. Okay. Th I'll give you the final uh, message. Okay. I learned from my teachers, Professor Okamura uh, and my cousins also, uh, like this, okay? Uh, we are engineers, okay? Of course, we will do scientific investigation and engineering investigation. They uh, con always consider two extremes. One is uh, very engineering, very practical uh, viewpoint, like this paper, okay? Mechanism is not clear but the re result is very ac accurate, okay? This, the other extreme end, uh, scientific viewpoint, okay? We, we just want to know 
we just want to clarify etc okay they always consider two ends the in the middle okay the uh, real uh, world is always in the middle so somewhere okay but your research should be should should pursue uh, extreme cases okay extreme uh, uh, viewpoints otherwise uh, um, many many researchers uh, will uh, how do i say uh, no, excuse okay what's the objective of research mm, partially for scientific uh, contribution partially okay so don't choose uh, the uh, no, ambiguous uh, attitude but I, I learned in that way okay so sometimes I, I oriented to practical research but sometimes I, of course I said very scientific viewpoint okay so that's the message from those <laughs> big professors yeah. um, very dif difficult to uh, select 100% uh, practical uh, research topic uh, so we are engineers, so it's uh, almost impossible to select 100% pure scientific topic, but uh, our attitude should be like that, okay? Hi. Any question? Hi. The, again, the deadline of the second assignment is uh, 10, eh? Wednesday, February. Then I will uh, evaluate your uh, no, grades based on two assignments, durability design and seismic design, okay? Hi, yeah, see you, I finally finished. I online lecture was finished. I see you again, bye-bye. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei.